Oh yeah. Big time. Let's see what they look like. That is what is up. I gotta I like see this color, color though. Like Cause it's color. gonna match something that you guys haven't seen yet. Don't cut the seat. Mm -hmm. Don't cut the seat. Dude, those are legit. Look how dark they are. I don't like it. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. Mm -hmm. I like it. It's a little different than the typical black. Yes. Yeah, we're going a little different on this. And you guys are, might be thinking, oh, yeah, that color, I don't know. <laughs> Trust me, there is a method to the madness. <coughs> Definitely a method to the madness. Here, Manny, pull it off. Christmas morning. What? Oh, pretty. Dude, this Very beautiful. Pretty. Hang on. Too bad we've been doing yard work all day. This is called pan? This is pan, not spice. So oh, I was so pan. confused. I was on eBay and some of them will say spice and they look tan and some tan looks spice. And so I called Corbin and was like, hey, which one is the darker seat? And they're like, tan is the darker seat, not spice. Spice is more of like a beige. Boom, there you have it. So they come in a pair. So the actual lever, <laughs> listen to the FedEx dude. The lever is gonna be on the outsides. So you're gonna have you know, controls on the sides. So they come as a pair. On eBay I was looking and you might not get the ones that have the, the controls on the correct side. So it's better just to order. I order these from Morris 4x4 online they're five hundred eighteen dollars for a pair plus shipping so the four seats it was like a thousand seventy seven dollars shipped so not bad oh i love these this color let's just give it a little glance well wrong side hang on come around the other way Holy crap, babe. They're gonna look good. Holy crap, they're gonna look good. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Guys, this is gonna look so freaking good. Some people aren't a big fan of brown, and I, to be honest, I'm not either. But there's a massive, massive surprise for the wheels. Oh my God, that looks really, really good against the gray. I don't know if it's gonna show the best in person, but in, or in person on the phone, but in person it looks really stinking good. So the, these are the Corbu Moab seats and I've heard they're gonna be discontinued. So I don't know if you can even find them too much longer, but for the money, they can get soaking wet. Trust me, I put these on two other Humvees, but black, you, you can drench these things and it doesn't hurt. So, I mean, it's just vinyl. So for the money, you cannot beat this seat and they're actually comfortable. And they're narrow enough, that's what people don't realize, this big freaking vehicle, there's not a lot of reg leg room in there. And it's kind of narrow for the actual seating part of it. So for these seats, they fit beautifully. They're meant for a Jeep, but they fit awesome. So check this out. This is all four seats, they are not bolted in. I literally just pulled them out of the package and set them in there. So you can kind of get a glimpse. It's gonna look like crap right now until I get these, which I have over there. But we'll see. Did go ahead and buy a brand new battery. Finally, I bought the second one here so I can go ahead and finally put my battery tie down in and get all this squared away and get ready for seat. So that's what I'm doing.
Okay. Check it out. <sighs> the tie down is finally on there. And it fits perfect with the little notches over here that hold it. And again, I just got these on eBay. We're good to go. All right, what's up everybody? The next day here, and today we're gonna to install these seats. Just for instance, if it's right here, I'm gonna have, you know, a couple inches to the back. I need to see if the seat can allow for overhang in the back. I can't honestly remember how the other ones exactly went on, so let me check that out first. All right, one of the first things we're gonna do, I just need to get these points, the holes, traced onto a template. All of them are gonna be the same. It's a great, grand, wonderful. We're just gonna make our first one. Right there. So, center, center. Left side's 13 inches on the dot. Now cross, we've got 11 and 3 eighths. 11 and 3 eighths. Huh. Okay, so there you have it. Traced them out, just measured them out on this on center, and then diagonal it. And man, that's it is pretty on the bunny. Now the template is good. Now it's transferred over. So I just measured to the back where it, it hits right here, the back of the seat. And it's an inch and a half of overhang of the back of the seat from the back edge of the plate right here. And now what I'm gonna do is measure an inch and a half past this point from this back hole right here. So that's three inches, so it's gonna be four and a half inches. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go a little on the safe side. I'm gonna go four and three eighths. Four and three eighths from the back of the bolt to the back of the seat where it hits. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is just make sure this is where it's supposed to be for the, for the plate. And it's 
right on the money. All right, I went ahead and labeled back on my cardboard here. All right, I kind of figured out that my first top bolt hole, and it's gonna be right on this hinge bracket. So I'm gonna have to go, I bet I'm gonna have to notch out this. I'll show you. Right here, I'm gonna have to grind out a section wherever this bolt is gonna drop in here. So that way I can quick release the seat in and out to be able to access all of this, otherwise I won't be able to bolt these in. Which, I mean, I prefer to have four bolts rather than two. These, these seats, there's just not a lot of room here. I know a lot of people have only bolted two bolts in the back seats. I've actually done that with one of my, my first one I did. I did it that way. So what's gonna happen is, let's go spray. Oh, it's on the latch, it's on the latch. Okay. Seven eighths. That's where I'm gonna put my my hole right there. Now from there, get my template. Okay, I made my dot here. Now let's go down. Okay. Just a little bit off right up here and then a little bit right down here where I'm off. I mean, hey guys, there you have it. One, two, three, four. I'm, th I'm actually going to make a new template since my cardboard kind of sucks. So I'll use this one from now on. I'm going to take it off, get some washers, put on these and uh, go ahead and screw this one on. This one will be done. Okay, I got my lock washers, and it's moment of truth time. I'm gonna get the grinder and I'm gonna go ahead and cut just a square around these so the bolts can go in and not hit. The back I don't have to worry about, but just right here.
Get in there now. One side's clamped. This one is up. I actually need to bend this hinge. I remember this one. A little tricky. Huh. Dude, that sucker ain't going anywhere. All four of them are in there. To be honest, I actually wanted the seat over just a little bit. It's perfect. It just needs to come over this way. Only because of this. See this little indention right here? It's rubbing. I don't want that. Man, it actually fits perfect though. Sit in it. Oh my gosh, it's so comfortable. And you actually have some leg room back here. It's crazy. Well, I think I'm gonna move it as bad as it sucks. Okay, I'm gonna move everything over a half an inch. That'll give me clearance, I guess. Well, let me see. This is gonna be the tightest one. Okay, however. Go in your side. Uh, no, we can do an inch. Okay. Inch it is. She fits. Oh, right there. Look how nice that gap is. No more hitting it. All right. is going to be the driver. Driver's seat. <laughs> Alright guys, so the pre-existing holes in the driver's seat here, the back two, left to right, they match with the seats that we got from Corbu. However, the front ones do not, so we're going to re-drill towards the front. We're going to use the back ones that are pre-existing, measure up, and just drill a new hole. reach the back two without taking uh, the base off. I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the top bucket of the stock part of the seat. 
I, it's impossible to get underneath there. So the top ones I had to use a good old fashioned Allen head. I can't get the socket down in there, there's enough space. But, whatever, it's in. Let's put this back together and put it on the freaking truck. All right, so I finally got the base mounted to the to the seat. So now I'm just gonna put the track, bolt it back to the frame. Wheat, check the seat out. Um, that's a little low. <laughs> <laughs> that hurts. I think I'm in business right here. How's it look? Good. Nice. Feels pretty good. Yeah, it's comfortable, man. So this cool about, thing about this seat, it, it does go up and down, forward and backwards. This is as far back as the seat goes, but it, it can recline a little more. But that's kind of, this is perfect for it. Two down, two to go. Let's go. Check this out. These came with the other seat when I pulled off the old base. It was only for the passenger side. There are these little bitty angles they're wider on one side than the other. You can kind of tell. Uh, maybe, okay. It's, it's kind of, it has two level spots on it. So I guess just to make the angle right. So, all right, let's do this one next. All right, guys. Just drilled out the back holes, make them a little wider. Let me get my measurement on the front here, drill those out, and we'll be about ready to set the seat on the base. Here we go.
That's it, man. So I'm not gonna show you what's in this box yet. You're gonna wait, because the tires are on the way. You obviously can see that they're wheels. They're pretty epic, and they're gonna go beautifully with these seats and the whole color scheme. So next video, you'll see it. Just out for the ride in the new seats. I had one on there, it was my 2018. Now I got a new one. Thanks for watching everybody, I really appreciate it. If you like the content on the channel, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. The channel's growing, you guys are awesome. I love all the comments. And until next time.